Well, there's a new patch of green growing at Santa Monica College. The school recently unveiled a micro forest on its main campus. It's the first of its kind in the country at a community college. KCAL News reporter Nick Zetchevich shows us. SMC is taking another important step to address climate change by planting the first micro forest at a U.S. community college. Coming in at a compact 300 square feet, SMC's new microforest is set to take on macro problems. So microforests are a way of mimicking how nature would plant itself. Biodiverse hotspots, these small and dense pockets of forest can invite nature back into our concrete jungles. And unlike lawns or the trees you see lining LA streets, microforests are meticulously planned layers of indigenous plant life. Each layer helping the others become healthier, just as they would in nature. But this project is about rethinking how space is used. Sort of traditionally, the traditional land uses, people didn't build with na thinking about nature. They thought about like, let's just concretize this thing. And that's why Los Angeles is as hot as it is and nationally. The project is a collaboration between the city of Santa Monica, SMC, and the Malibu Foundation, serving as a case study into microforest's ability to fight climate change, while providing research experience to SMC biology students who will monitor the microforest. So this is going to be one of two microforests sprouting up through the city of Santa Monica, just blocks away from each other, but it's something that can be replicated across the city of L.A. They sustain themselves. The trees are planted so close together, they essentially crowd out any weed growth, no raking, the leaves that will fall. They can be left alone. They'll serve as mulch. Mulch also retains water. So less maintenance, less water. That, of course, creates biodiversity. It invites native insects, valuable pollinators, humans harnessing the power of nature for good. So it's a little bit cyclical, right? Like if you take away something from nature, nature will react negatively. But if you work with nature, I think nature responds quite positively. During COVID, when nature started to creep back into cities, that was a beautiful thing. This is, this is being proactive and giving nature a place to come back to. The plan for these green space activists is to scale up and have these pockets of nature eventually grow into other parts of Southern California. They may be small, but they come with a ton of benefits. I mean, there are so many things that can happen. There's stormwater capture. We would capture millions of gallons of stormwater. You would reduce our urban heat island effect. It's really cool the surface temperature down. You would have butterflies everywhere, and I think birds would start singing a different song again. In Santa Monica, Nick Zetchevich, KCAL News.